Well, I've been fiddling around with this a little bit more and I did get the design down by one block. As you can see, and if I go like this, it, it's tileable. Get them both working at the same time here. It just required me to change this piston from going down, or not piston, hopper from going down to going over into chess. And we have this set up now. We'll let it drain completely through before going on. And that looks like that one's done, 61. So if I take this out and break this, I should have, yeah, five. Wait, so there'll be five in the system still. Which is still better, however, I did notice this. If I was to, let's say, let's take this and make this like a feed tape type thing. Even the same with this one. If I put these in here, you notice that isn't going on. That is because they're all getting sent over. I think the problem, a problem with this, as cool as it is, is an item sort of going, you know, shrinking it down to one block or whatever. Without that hopper pulling down at the same time it's trying to, this is trying to send it down, since it's just the pot, it is not fast enough to go in here, unless I do it manually, or the hoppers themselves actually face down into the pot, and then it can do its thing. So I'm not sure how to fix that, you'd have to delay the... See if you, if you do the same thing, I guess if you raise the feed tape up one, maybe it would work. Although at that point, any other block would do the same, I would imagine. Uh-huh. And of course that defeats the purpose of eliminating the hopper in the first place, so... It may be a bit of a fumble here. Someone with more redstone ability can probably figure out something better here. Again, I thought it was just kind of neat. At least got it subtracted down to one using this method, but this method obviously has some drawbacks. So if you have one item to sort, this this is really amazing for resource saving, but any more than one, you're kind of patuts to it looks like. Okay, so perhaps not for item sorting, this little system here might not work, but one thing I did think of is perhaps some sort of banking. As you can see, I got it prepped, I got my diamonds in there, so that means there's going to be one in here, and just to be sure, I think that was five, I probably should have checked. There, should be about five in the system. Let's just go like this. That means I think five went through. Okay. Now let's put these back in here. And I'm curious if this could be made into something. I just have a simple couple of observers here that go into a dropper. So let's say you're selling Prismanine. Let's see what one diamond would get us. So that would get us three. Per diamond. Mm hmm. So maybe for non-stackable items, or items that cost, or expensive items, this might be a simple little system. If you're playing on server and see your site selling items at like 12 <laughs> per diamond or something, I don't know what that would be. Something really expensive, but that would be three of these. I think I only put in two. Hang on, let's retest this correctly. We'll put in three diamonds, and that should be 12 items. Seven. Aha! So it seems to be diminishing returns on this. What does four give us? Nine. Okay, let's put in a full diamond block. Nine. Obviously, we're gonna have to put it in not as a block, but how many items does that give us? Nineteen. Hmm. Perhaps this isn't a good idea either. 
Here I thought I had a solution to this weird thing I've been working on. I'm only getting more confused. I'm not sure why I'm so obsessed with making something out of this. Probably because it's something new and exciting to me. I usually don't do my own redstone bits, so... That's me trying to learn how things work. All this spaghetti in, on the floor down there, but... Uh-huh. So perhaps something to continue working on, I suppose. Okay, I figured out what this is. Along with shortening it by the one pulse. I don't even, it's not even really shortening it. I'm just moving everything over and then having the hopper face this way. So it's not really that, but you know, if I throw things in here, I wonder if that, that's probably not what was in there. Now that I think about it. Yeah, there. Now it's working. Sorting out our items. But yeah, I was thinking it could be a payment system or whatever, but I also thought this. It could be some sort of a key system into an entry. And so I've got home keys here made. Super technical. But you know, I gotta use five or a cup, at least two because back here if you add in a pulse extender this would probably go better this is just my spaghetti wire wiring and redstone to make it work because if I just put it in one you'll see it's a little quick so I think two I should be able to make it maybe if I throw in all five I've got plenty of time to get through But, another little, some sort of feature. It's probably the most useful out of me messing around with this for two videos now, but that is all. So I thought I'd come in and show that. Yeah, as, as I said, I'm not a redstone guy. So I am sure there are people who could find much better use for whatever I'm playing at here, because I'm not even really sure. But, anyways. That be it. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.